Okay, boys and girls, welcome back. Red Mist in the house once again. How you doing? I hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing great. How are you guys and girls? Now, as you can see, boys and girls, we have lots and lots of chests to open. Well, we haven't got many chests. We've got like six chests, but they're all small chests, unfortunately, because for some reason, Clash don't like me, and it's not giving me any good chests, so it just keeps giving me small little silver chests. But... Also, guys, as you can see, we are pushing up quite nicely in our trophies on the left-hand side. We've kind of switched things up. We're going with this deck. I'm pretty sure I'd done a video on this deck yesterday, which was pretty good. Um, it's so fun to play. It is crazy. Um, and I want to go ahead and show you a couple of battles here. I want to show you this battle right here. Now, this battle here is just a draw, guys. But I want to show you it because it is crazy absolutely crazy if i had some either a little bit more direct damage or if i had something that would like maybe run to the tower i reckon i would have killed this guy but as you can see we're going to start off with our elixir pump he's going to start off with his bomb tower pretty standard now we're just going to waste some time because of the fact that he's played a bomb tower we don't we're just not even going to bother um we're going to go ahead and fireball it but we missed the bomb tower because we were silly. And we did get a little bit of damage on the tower. So that's okay. But we put our princess down. He puts his a wizard down. He puts a double prince push down. And we're kind of like, oh my good god, really? So we go ahead and zap them guys. Get rid of their charge. Then we put our barbarians down. And we take them out. Because they're no threat to us. Because they're bad. Um, obviously his zap or whatever he used on our princess didn't kill her off so yeah then we try and play our valkyrie and our uh, goblin push because his tower's gone but he went and played his ice wizard which was a bit of a problem so we put down our wizard uh, sorry our princess got a couple got a hit off on his tower but then he went and fireballed her so in that in my opinion that's pretty good he used four elixir to kill three elixir so yeah i'm happy with that and I'm very sorry, I needed a quick drink because my, my mouth was dry. So again, we've got tons of elixir. As you can see, we play the elixir pump and we're still only one elixir behind him. So he goes and plays a giant. And now we know we're in a bit of trouble because he's got the giant. He's got two princes that we've already seen. He's got archers and he's got an ice wizard that we've already seen. So we put our archers right down at the back. We play very slow. We put uh, the... Um, Valkyrie right down at the back still playing quite slowly and then we go and fireball the whole lot get rid of tons of it and we're happy days now we've got a nice little push going but we know he's got a fireball so he goes and fireballs us so yeah but then obviously we've got that Valkyrie coming in the princess is hitting down once again the archers were going to get a little bit of damage but he plays his dark knight just behind our archers which means we get some damage there but we do the same thing to him. We go put our Valkyrie right behind his Dark Knight. She takes him out. No problem whatsoever. But then he comes in with that damn annoying Ice Wizard once again. And then his Royal and his Giant. So again, we take his Giant out of our Barbarians. He's going to go Fireball us and he zaps us, which actually kills our Giant. Which is pretty damn annoying. But it's okay because the Giant's still going to die to our Archers. The archers are going to give more than enough distraction on that Dark Knight. And we're going to get a good push going up on his uh, tower again. But that bomb tower and everything else is again once going to... Or once again, mixing up my words, they're going to take out my troops. So he's going to go ahead and put down his Ice Wizard once again. We're going to go fireball him. We're going to play down the barbarians right in front he's gonna zap he's gonna fireball that's not going to be enough damage to kill my barbarians this time because last time he had an extra hit from the ice wizard princess is going to go down to focus target on his bomb tower valkyrie and archers are going to go in and do a little bit of damage from a distance as well the fireball is going to go in and leave his ice wizard with one shot his Fireball is going to come in and take out our barbarians because he's zapped and he's got some archers there but they're still going to get his giant before the tower gets hit and then we're going to continue to distract and destroy his uh, thingy there. Now he plays a very high uh, bomb tower over here which means that he just stopped the damage on his tower so all in all very good but 
a giant double prince push that is crazy but as you can see guys we managed to deal with it very very easily because of the fact that the deck is awesome so i want to show you this one which is again a guy with an ice wizard now these ice wizards are everywhere boys and girls and they're doing my head in they really are annoying me because i really hate the ice wizard because one i don't have him and two he slows everyone down so much it is ridiculous so he goes and plays his ice wizard we're kind of like okay well we'll play our elixir pump and then he goes and plays his hog rider so standard counter we go and put down our barbarians we counter all of that other stuff over there with some archers we go ahead and zap that and then I don't know why we didn't really do anything here, but we kind of just left the Valkyrie alone. We went and counted her eventually with our own Valkyrie, but it took a long time. So then we go ahead and quickly push in. Now, obviously, don't forget, guys, this one here is actually against a clan member as well. Um, but still, the Ice Wizard is really annoying. So obviously, we go and put down our Princess, which takes care of them Barbarians with only one hit on our tower. She also goes and takes rid, gets rid of that Ice Wizard. And then he uses his arrows. So we just go ahead and pump up an Elixir Pump. And we're happy days. Now we're sitting pretty. We have to kind of have that little bit of one Elixir Pump left. We've got that second Elixir Pump up. We go and play our Archers just to get a quick little bit of tick damage. Slash get rid of wedded Elixir basically. Now, we use our Valkyrie once that uh, mini Pekka has got close to the tower because he's going to come running back. And then we obviously put her in, uh, the Valkyrie in. We go ahead and fireball just because we saw his arrows coming. We just quickly put a fireball down and got rid of everyone. And we're going to play another Elixir Pump. Now, we've got a one and a half Elixir Pumps. Um, if I actually level my Elixir Pump up, then obviously the HP would be there for a lot better. And it would, well, I think it was, yeah, it lasts a minute and 10 seconds, doesn't it? I don't know. I can't remember, guys. But anyway, it's doing a really great job in my deck. So obviously, he goes and plays his mini peckle. So we go and do a quick push over on the right-hand side. But we let we pushed a little bit too early that he actually went and got everything down. But as you can see, before his mini peckers even got close to the thing, We've already played a whole entire push and got back to our archers. But because we went and put down our Valkyrie on the right hand side, he played it perfectly and put down his Hog Rider just as I dropped her. So he actually managed to get in and we had to save it with our minions. Oh, sorry, our goblins. Now, we played something extremely stupid here. We actually went and tried to counter um, the Valkyrie with goblins. I'm not sure why I done that. But I did, and it's too late, so yeah. So obviously, we're going to push, do a push with our Valkyrie again. We've got our Princess going in to do some splash damage to those Barbarians. He's going to come in with his Hog Rider once again, so we're going to go ahead and counter that with our Barbarians, no problem at all. Ice Wizard's going in there, so we're going to counter him with them. We miss our... Uh, Valkyrie so unfortunately the Valkyrie actually goes and hits but because he played the wizard over by his tower we went and fireballed it and we just put a good game because I didn't want to just go and nuke his tower with fireballs because that's a little bit douchebaggy um, but because of the fact of we went and um, put a troop next to it I went and fireballed it so obviously we've got both towers fairly low we've got troops going into both of them we don't really do anything. We leave that mini pecker alone. The Valkyrie's coming in and then we kind of decide, well, instead of countering it, we're just going to fireball his tower and say thank you very much. But that was just a friendly battle, but he played very well. It was very fun. And yeah, so as you can see, it's kind of a very big ver uh, variety of games. Now, I'm going to show you this one as well because this one here is actually or sorry, was actually quite a hard battle. Now, this guy is running the Double Prince push. Now, I've seen quite a lot of people running the Double Princes again, but he's running it slightly different. Um, he's got the Princess, he's got Goblins, Spear Goblins, Elixir Pump, Fireball, Dark Prince, Prince, and the Flame Tower. So, he's running 
basically a deck that's just as quick cycle as mine, but he's running it with a defense. So, yeah, um, obviously, because he's running it with a defense, we was going to fireball here and take everything out, but then we kind of saw that the uh, tower was basically dead. So we just decided to go and put down our princess, and she's going to do a couple of ticks off on that uh, elixir pump. We're going to stop his push right there because we're going to zap his charges and the princes aren't going to be able to charge. So then we're going to go ahead and get this. And now because of where his princess is situated, we're going to fireball her, get some damage on the tower and take out the last of that elixir pump. So that was a well worth trade fireball in my opinion. Um, because we took damage on his tower, we took out three elixir from his um, thing and we basically stopped him from getting two bonus elixir from his elixir pump so we took out five plus we got damage from his tower so that's great now he what goes and basically wastes his fireball here so i go and quickly push with my valkyrie and my goblins we get in and he ignores it way too late we hit that zap and then he tries to counter with goblins on the valkyrie and the valkyrie is going to do some serious work We've got this game in the bag. All we have to do is defend because that tower is one fireball away from being destroyed. So now, because of the elixir that we've got, we just go ahead and put our princess down. He puts his own princess down. We're ready to fireball, but then we kind of think, well, no, he's just put it straight on top of the thing. So we go ahead and use our archers. They're going to distract the two princes because of where they are. And then those princes are going to go down because of the fact of what... Uh, the fact of the barbarians are going to kill him. The archers are still alive. We zapped his goblins and his spear goblins. He played his princess, which the Valkyrie and the archers went and took care of no problem. And then we've got happy days. Lovely. Archers to again distract the two princes. The fireball to take care of the masses. The Valkyrie is going to stop the damage from the princess. Going to stop the goblins from getting in and the princess uh, prince from getting in and we have that tower there now because we know he's going to come in with his two princes again we're going to put our elixir pump down at the front we're going to go zap all of that put our barbarians down put our valkyrie down create too much of a barrier for his two princes to get through to our tower and we're going to say well played because that was a fairly good game but even though it's a fairly good game, it's a very easy deck to shut down with this deck. The same as even if people bring in Pekkas, because of the fact that we have so much um, <clears throat> elixir, we can zap stuff, we can we can zap the two princes, which stops their charge. You can zap the, the Pekka, which obviously stops him from taking a swing at one point and stuff like that. You've got a lot of spam, and it's just really good to use. Um... So, really, really fun deck, in my opinion. Um, and this one, guys, now, this one here is just... Yeah, I, I just don't know what to really say about this one. Sorry, I was just having a quick sip of my drink. But this one right here is a... <clears throat> kind of a true test of the deck. Um... Because he goes and puts down that goblin hut. So we just quickly push in with our Valkyrie and our goblins. But he's got his own Valkyrie. So we put down our princess. So between the Valkyrie and the princess. They're going to kill their Valkyrie. Princess is going to keep on shooting over at these goblins. To stop them from getting shots on the tower. He doesn't do anything to really counter her. So yeah. Obviously Mini Pekka is going to get distracted to the centre of the arena. By our archers happy days he's dead wasted his elixir by putting just one guy down she's going to go get a little bit of damage now here comes his musketeer we're going to go fireball that because we got the fireball on the tower or the damage on the tower the musketeer and the end of his goblin barrel gonna go ahead and counter his uh, his giant with our um barbarians zap the gob uh skeletons from his witch i'm having a bit of a brain freeze here and then the princess and the valkyrie uh, sorry princess and the archers are going to kill the valkyrie no problem so obviously princess is still down she's going to get a couple of hits off on that tower before the mini pekka goes and kills her but she only managed to get one because i was kind of thinking that that she would they would attack the archers first but it didn't 
so obviously Valkyrie's coming in again. We're not going to get any damage here, so it's kind of pointless. And I think we go on ahead and play our Elixir Pump here. I can't quite remember. No, we zap, don't we? Yeah, we go ahead and we zap this one, which actually creates enough that she only gets two hits off on our tower. Princess, once again, is going to do splash damage and take care of all of those golems, uh, goblins, goblins, goblins that are coming in and be happy days. So obviously Valkyrie is going to go down to protect our princess. The witch is right over the back. So we go ahead and play a fireball, but we play it a little bit too early that it actually misses the uh, princess. It only gets her goblins or her skeletons, I should say, which is a bit of a downside. But hey, it happens. So obviously now we've got two princesses down. We go ahead and get in there with some heavy, heavy damage. Um, which is pretty crazy because the two princesses on the tower. We've now got a third princess down. Three princesses down. Which is crazy. And we go ahead and take out this uh, giant with our goblins. The three princesses fall. But yeah, obviously... This was again, I just realised that this wasn't the battle that I wanted to show you. This was against another clan member. Um, but he let me get three princesses down at one point. That's crazy. You have to take care of those princesses, guys. Um, because of the fact of one princess is bad enough, two princesses horrendous, three princes, princesses, you're dead. Um, they tick for 144 damage per hit, I believe. So, three of them, that's like 400 and not plus damage. Craziness. Um, but that wasn't the one that I wanted to show you. Um, I think this was the one I wanted to show you. It might not be. I can't remember. I really don't remember. But we're going to show you this battle here. Because this deck is working amazingly, guys. It is so, so strong. Um, most of the matches, yeah, they're only sort of one crown wins. But one crown win is a win. You know, whether you get a one ground win, a two ground win, a three ground win, it doesn't matter. A win is a win. So, as standard, starting off with our Elixir Pump at the back, he counters with a Valkyrie. We put our Princess down. We go ahead and put our Archers down to go get that Balloon. We zap it, but then he puts down a Freeze. So, we're kind of like, okay, well, that tower's done because we've got nothing to defend that. Go ahead and put down our Valkyrie to take care of his. With Princess in the back, Valkyrie's going towards the tower. The uh, goblins took care of his princess. The prince, our princess, gets two hits on that tower. His uh, baby dragon comes in. We distract with our princess, and she's gonna fall. But it distracted his dragon. His dragon costs four. My princess costs three. We're one elixir up there. We go and play our elixir pump. And even by playing that elixir pump, we're still only two elixir behind him. So. We're very good on Elixir. Obviously, he's coming in with his Valkyrie once again. We tried to spill it our Barbarians, so we had two go each way, but for some reason, they go and attack over here. So, we go ahead and put down our Archers here. We zap the Goblins that he's put over there. He Obviously, they then zaps the Balloon as well. The Princess goes down to help protect those Barbarians. Goblins and Valkyrie goes in. He's wasted tons of elixir because of playing down his princess to destruct over there. She's not going to be able to kill our goblins and our Valkyrie in time. Our own princess is going to shoot over with the Valkyrie and kill his uh, princess there. Now we play barbarians on the far side to run to the opposite bridge. Which means that the baby dragon gets three hits on three of them and only one hit on one. And is distracted by the tower. He plays his Valkyrie, which is fine. We play our Princess. He's got that Hog coming... Uh, sorry, that Prince coming in. So, standard procedure. We zap the Prince to take away his charge. We go ahead and fireball the whole lot. We put down our Archers to kill that Balloon. With one hit on our tower. The little bit of bonus damage from the thing. We've got two Princesses coming in. One's targeting on the tower. One's targeting the Baby Dragon. But then he plays his own Princess. So that's okay. We wait for that Valkyrie. We go and put our goblins way over in the back. But unfortunately they get over in time before that Valkyrie dies. So that was a little bit of unluckiness there. Princess goes down. The Zap goes down. He tries to freeze the both the princess and the archers. But only gets the archers. 
tower is left with 378 HP and that balloon goes down and we take another one crown victory right there so as you can see guys this deck is working really well um, quick rundown of the deck obviously we've got a victory we've got a draw a victory a victory a victory a victory a draw a draw a victory a victory a victory 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 a draw a victory victory a defeat a victory a victory a victory a victory draw draw and then we go into a different deck um, or sorry the last two draws and a victory go into the, a, a different deck so as you can see guys this deck is kind of what what is it like over 10 and 0 or something um which is pretty crazy um let's see let's see let's go down to where we are okay so this was the last time we lost with this deck so let's see one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 0 with this deck guys, that is crazy, absolutely crazy, 17 and 0, so obviously that's not 17 wins, there are draws in there, but I would rather take a draw and not win or lose any trophies over take a loss and lose however many trophies, so as you can see, 17 and 0 with this deck, guys. That is pretty damn crazy. So check it out. If you don't have the princess, bring the three elixir minions because you don't want to make this deck too expensive. Um, and yeah, very very good in my that. That's just that's how it is, guys. The the battle report speaks for itself right there. You know, 17 and 0, you can't really say that the battle isn't, the battle log isn't showing how good the team is. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Please hit that like, subscribe and share for me. And I shall see you in the next one. Peace on the streets.